it's Tracy here with the summer snakeskin design. I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step of exactly how this design was achieved. A couple of you must be thinking, yeah, with snakeskin that's really scaly, but quite honestly, this baby is really very versatile. You can use it for inlay design, as I've used in my design, or even on top of the nail for a particular effect. The sky's the limit. And more importantly, no animals were harmed in obtaining it. It's something that shred really naturally. So thank you to Athena from Athena Rocks for sending it to me to play around with and get creative with. At the end of the video, I'll give you a list of the products that I've used and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Right, so let's start off. We're uh, working with a white base. Um, the reason for using the white base is later on we will be adding some color in a rainbow uh, array and the white just helps the colors really pop out. I'm not being too neat round about my smile line area because I will be adding camouflage nail bed extension shortly and you won't see anything there anyway. So just basically put it on like that and let's pop it in the light to cure. Right, so we've cured our white. Now we're going to use a beautiful nail bed extension color or camouflage pink to create the nail bed extension. And this is why I was telling you, you don't need to worry too much about popping your white down neatly because if you're working with a really highly pigmented nail bed extension color, this is going to hide any uneven spots that you have created in your smile line. Remember to make sure that when you're using your uh, camouflage, you don't want to put a mess of camouflage at your cuticle area. You really want it to blend very gently from the nail plate into your cuticle area so that when the nail starts growing out, you don't see a definite line where your camouflage color is. Um, clean off your brush and then make any final corrections to your smile line before you pop it in to cure. In we go. While we're waiting for those to cure, I'd like to show you the color gels that I'm going to be using to create the rainbow effect. These are absolutely magnificent. They, they are highly pigmented. You can use them for um, one stroke as well and really detailed painting. And uh, they're also lead curable, so you can really work pretty quickly with them. The colors are intense and just gorgeous. So we're going to create our rainbow with that. So I'm going to start off using the red and we're going to be working the rainbow design at an angle. So the first thing that's important is to pop my red into the first corner. As you can imagine, I'm going to be working across like that. So that's enough for now in terms of the red. And then we go on to the next color, which is this bright orange. And I'm going to put down a line. I'm not touching my red yet. And just pop it all the way up, touching the smile line on the opposite side. And even out my product. I'm going to clean off my brush. And then from this angle, just gently, gently brush it. Start brushing it through the red and long strokes and you will start seeing that the colors gently start blending. If you've got too much color on your brush just wipe it off on a clean gel brush and again gentle strokes. I'm using it my brush at, at an angle which is really pulling the color together and getting it to blend really well. If you've touched onto your smile line, not an issue. Just come in there with your clean gel brush and oh, neaten that up. Right, then we're on to our next color. Also great neon yellow. And that's the great thing about working with these colors somewhere in the world we're going into summer so these are going to be just awesome 
even on its own as a design but even better and more spectacular with the uh, added snakeskin. So once again, as you can see, I'm working with my brush pretty flat as I combine the two colors together. Continue the process as we go on to the green. You first pop it down and then gently with a flatter brush, once you've cleaned it, Blend the two colors together. Onto the blue. Clean off my brush. and blend. And last but certainly not least we on to this gorgeous fuchsia color. Pop it on the tip and again continue the blending. And we're ready to cure. So while we're waiting for uh, that to cure out, I'd like to take a piece of this uh, gorgeous snake skin. I'm also already going to prepare the shape of approximately of my smile line. So I can just slide that up to my smile line. Small little V in there. So my nail comes out looking really bright and breezy. And I'm going to apply a, take a clear gel and apply a medium sized layer of clear gel onto the surface. It doesn't need to be really thin, but it's also not for building purposes. We want to use it to secure the uh, snake skin to it. And then I take my snake skin and I'm going to place it over onto the cured, onto the uncured gel. Press it gently around so that it fills any open spots and is secured properly. And then I'm going to pop it into the light to cure and secure it. Right, so when it comes out, I am going to trim away the excess and make sure that you keep the excess because you can not only use the snake skin for an entire nail, but you can also use parts of it for uh, sections of the nail. Really get in there at an angle to get any loose areas way you don't want it sticking out on the side of your nail but we are going to file later on so if there are any loose spots we will be able to get rid of it right ready for the next step we are going to encapsulate it with clear so bring a clear layer over the entire nail sealing your gorgeous snake skin into place. And as you can see, you will still see a lot of the structure here and on the lighter areas, when you look closer, you would need to see that really up close. There is still the outline of the structure. Let's just check from the side view. Right. And we cure it. 
Right, so it's uh, come out of the light and uh, I've filed it into shape, just buffed the surface uh, of the nail. And now I'm going to add a foil transfer gel to pretty much enhance the snake skin uh, idea. And remember, the great thing about doing nails is that you can stop at any stage if you are happy with it as it is, just you know, leave it at this point, or if you would like to continue with the next step that I'm going to do, go for it. It, you know, when is enough bling enough? Never, I think. So I'm using a really thin brush to create some really thin lines. First outlining the smile line, and then I'm going to go along and go around certain areas of the snake skin design. So you're pretty much creating a snake skin in a snake skin or snake skin on a snake skin. You obviously don't want to cover the entire design, otherwise what's the point of doing uh, an inlay? But this is just an uh, added effect. Right, and now you're going to pop it in and cure it um, for one minute. So while we're waiting for that to cure, we're going to grab a piece of gold foil and cut a piece to get ready to press on the foil gel. So here we are with our uh, partially cured foil gel. We're going to grab the uh, gold foil and press. I have a look at that. I just love it. Love the effect and love the reaction of the clients when they see it. It's one of their ah! moments. Make sure you're using a different area of the foil each time so that you can really get the best result. I like to pop it into the light again just for a short while to secure the uh, foil into the gel. While we're waiting for that to cure, we can wade through this amazing selection of goodies to decide what embellishments we're going to finish off our design with. And now we're going to seal it with the top gel. Cap your sides really well. Right, and let's pop that into cure. So you can secure your embellishments with a, um, a soakable gel. I like to put quite a generous amount on there because bear in mind that these are really exotic stones and they are uh, reusable. So 
if they are soakable they're going to be a lot easier to take off and and reuse and remember to to tell your clients that as well so if one does happen to come off that they realize that they uh, you know can keep it and and reuse it for a different design you can be pretty playful in placing these I'm just loving the colors and we're still sticking with the uh, obviously the summer uh, summer theme to finish off with once again with a soak off you can still position them at this stage Let's pop it into cure. 